Uh, so I just got out of the gym today uh, and uh, I, I, I get questions all the time, like what's your routine or whatever. So I figured why not? not, why not just talk about it. And so I actually tried to get footage of it inside the gym without people looking because you <laughs> feel like a douchebag. You know, when you're recording yourself at the gym and also people think oh, that you're recording them and you look like a big creepo. So I, I tried to just get little snippets here and there. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll answer those questions. That's one of the most common ones. So here we go. Uh, I think I've made a video like this before, but that was a while back and things are a lot different now. Um, and, and I'm not trying to say I'm some health guru or workout guru because I'm not. Um, I'm just a regular dude who goes to the gym. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger by any means, and I'll never be Arnold Schwarzenegger by any means, and I will, I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to be the best me I can be, and that's, that's all you can really do, that's, it's all about genetics, right? Uh, so, uh, one thing I've learned throughout the years is things change as you get older, and what you can do at 20, you can't do at 40. Um, now, Funny enough, I'm at the best shape I've ever been in my entire life now at 40 than I ever was at 20. Uh, but you just have to go about it doing different things. The way you go about it at 20, a lot most people as you age, you have to go about it differently. For me, that step was not going bro splits where it's like you do chest on Monday and then back on Tuesday or, you know, whatever. It's, I spread it out. Um, and so I do full body three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, whenever I made that switch, it's like, I immediately started seeing strength and, and gains like I had, like I was 20 again. Uh, so I, anyway, this is this is what I do. Um, I'm not saying this is what you should do, uh, but this is just, it, it works for me. Um, so whenever you go a full body three days a week like I do, um, the best, I think, advice I could probably give is just focus mainly on, on compound movements. You know, you got your, uh, your, your bench press and then your squats and your deadlifts and you know, your pull-ups, your back, um, the ones that focus on big, big major muscle groups all at once, those are going to be your bread and butter. Here I'm doing dumbbell bench press. Uh, this is actually 110 in each arm, and uh, I'm getting it here for, I think, nine. I got nine of them. Uh, this is this is probably what I'm, I'm best at. It's, it's just, I've always been, I've always excelled in this <laughs> for whatever reason. And uh, it's it's kind of a, it makes me feel good because I rarely ever see any of the dudes go over there and get these these heavy weights to do uh, bench. Um, rarely, like I, there's one other guy I've ever seen do it. That's not to say they can't. I rarely ever see anybody doing it, much less somebody my age. So it's this is the one that I'm like really super proud of. Like I can get I get out of it, and I know there's somebody watching now that could blow me out of the water with this. Of course, it's all relative. You're going to be great at good thing, great at some things and not so great at other things. And it's just, everybody's different. And no matter what, there's always, no matter how good you think you are at something, uh, there's always going to be a lot of people that are better at it than you are. And you know, you should never let that discourage you or anything. You just, you just be the best, be, be the best to you that you can be. And, uh, you know, I, there's plenty of other exercises out here that I'm like, wow, oh, God, I'll never be able to do that, uh, much. And, and that's okay. You know, um, not everybody can do the same amount, no matter what. It's all part of genetics, but it doesn't matter. You know, you you do you. You do the best you you can be, and don't worry about what the other guy does. And then I, I switched over to do legs, and this is, well, I'll fully admit, legs are probably my weakest point. Uh, didn't help that I ripped my Achilles, and it caused me to not want to even do legs for the longest time. Uh, but I try to do them as much as I can um, I'm just not you know they're on this bar right here where I'm repping and it's it's like 400 pounds almost 400 pounds which um, for those of you who don't work out probably sounds like a lot but it's not really uh, there are there are dudes in here that will come up and do like a thousand pounds no problem Hell, I've seen girls do more weight than what I'm doing here so yeah it's not it's not that much when it comes to, to legs um, Definitely, I have a, a lot of room of improve, improvement. So then after this, I move on to rack pulls, um, which focuses on like up your upper back traps, stuff like that. The point is to just bustle up as much as you can here. 
Um, but also do it with good form. You want to keep your back straight and you want to keep your shoulders back. Um, I was doing, I probably, I think I even did this in the last video I did where I was repping four, 500 pounds on the bar, which, you know, I don't have any gloves, those same gloves, like your grip gives out quicker than, uh, your, your back when it some, comes to something like that. You, the bars, you're just not going to be able to hold onto the bar when it's that heavy. So for me to do that, I would need um, the strap gloves. Plus, I realized that um, I was I had really bad form. I can get up to 500 pounds, no easy, but I was doing it with really horrible form, which will it will kill your shoulders, it will kill your neck. Um, I was rounding off and then ripping and, and then picking them up. You got to keep that everything straight. I. I, I realized I was doing it wrong and usually a rule of thumb is if you want better form you got to drop the weight if you are doing it with bad form then you have too much weight on the bar so I dropped it and right here right here with the um, with the, uh, the, the, the the rack I've got about 315 pounds on it with these bumper plates that's all they have right here in this area uh, which is just enough for me to still be able to grip it and get it up with good form. Um, if I had the gloves, I think I could still get 400 with good form, but I don't have the gloves, so we'll work with what we got. Now moving on, uh, I'm doing this uh, technique with pull-ups. But you, you pull yourself up, you wait about two to three seconds, and then you just do it again. Wait two or three seconds, do it again. It will allow you to do more than just uh, staying on the bar and just ripping them out. You know, I, if I could do that, if when I do that, I can do maybe like 12 in a row. Uh, but this technique is, it's just a different way of doing things. Uh, I, I bounce back and forth. I do, I do regular pull-ups the regular way. And then sometimes I'll go and do this way. Uh, and sometimes I'll do weighted ones. Uh, and you just basically do as many as you can. And this is hard because after the rack pulls, my back is, is kind of, you know, it's getting a little tired here. Uh, but I do do, I do like to do different things simply because, um, uh, I just, I, I find, I, I get bored doing the same things over and over again. And, uh, you know, you, you just kind of keep your muscles guessing a little bit. Uh, now, there is something to be said with continuing to do the same exercises um, and just progressively overloading them because that's how you're going to build the most muscle. Uh, so if, with something like that, you generally need to stick with the same exercises for a little bit. You, you know, it's always good to change them up, but stick with them, stick with them for like a good three months and just progressively overload those and get better at those particular ones. Um, but at, at my age, I'm not really con too concerned about packing on way, a lot more muscle. I just, I'm just trying to get exercise and be fit. Now, this next one is another back one. Uh, for me, I really gotta exercise my back more than anything else because I do have a bad back, scoliosis, it's muscle imbalances. So this particular one um, is very, very good for if you sit in front of a computer desk all day because it, it works all these, this back, um, back shoulders, your, your traps back here. It keeps everything, pulls everything back like this. It's, a, it's basically a face pull, but you can do it various ways. I do, sometimes I'll do it like this where I'm close and then sometimes I'll come outwards like this. The point is to get the lower traps, get the back of the, of the uh, shoulders and that helps uh, strengthen those and pull your shoulders back because a lot of people, if you're in front of a computer all day like I am, editing and stuff like that, you, you know, you're you're rounded up and you're getting really bad posture and stuff like that and it, it, it really doesn't I already have bad is, issues with my back as it is and so when I'm doing that kind of stuff leaning forward and it, it just makes it even worse so I try I do a disproportionate amount of back stuff to kind of help correct that and or at least you know I may be, may be on be beyond the point of actually correcting it but at least I can keep it from getting worse I'll move on to you know I isolation exercises uh, isolation exercises are exercises that you know just create you, you're basically just um, concentrating on one small muscle group like um, in this case shoulders uh, the deltoids more specifically uh, where you're doing this and on this particular one I'm just doing a uh, drop one long drop set so I'll do the heaviest I can and then drop it down a little bit and then do as much as many as I can drop it down do as many as I can on that and yeah I could probably come up a little further in this but I do have a little bit of a shoulder impingement that keeps me from like going it up as as much as I really want to um right here and that is actually from the issue with the posture and stuff that that creates that uh so you can only do what you can do but and then I move on do some biceps um today because I didn't really get any good bicep work with the, the over the pull-ups because I was I was doing um, pull-ups and not chin-ups 
so uh, I, I wanted to, to get some uh, get some bicep work in um, and you know usually it's, I'll, I'll, I'll get like some a little bit of tricep too but um, today I, I I, I don't know. I, was, I guess I got lazy and didn't want to do triceps. <sighs> so yeah, that was that was pretty much it for today. Uh, I only I only tried to stay in there for like about an hour or so. This phone is slipping. Uh, yeah, I only try to stay in for about an hour or so because uh, I'm a busy guy. I uh, just try to get a little bit of work in and then and then leave. You know, um, I'm not trying to win any sort of bodybuilding contest or anything like that. So um, staying all day at the gym is is not something that I need to do. Uh, but it is important, I guess, to just kind of get something done, uh, just to stay, stay, you know, fit, active, things like that. On the days that I don't go to the gym, a lot of times I will uh, just go into the garage and I have a heavy bag where I'll just spend 20, 30 minutes hitting the heavy bag, just get some cardio in uh, and do various things like that. You know, sometimes I'll jog, stuff like that, just because, you know, it's, it's good to get the cardio in as well. I usually just don't do it on the days that I go to the gym, uh, just because... Uh, you know, I, I think it's pretty good to at least do something to make yourself sweat like every day. So I kind of space or stagger it a little bit. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I guess uh, I guess a reason uh, for this particular video uh, was to answer the questions. But also, I guess, I don't know, maybe maybe motivated some of you out there. that may be on the fence about going in to the gym or anything like that. Um, I know a lot of you probably don't want to go because of everything going on right now, but, you know, maybe, maybe you know, there are plenty of, like, if you don't want to go to the gym, there's plenty of, like, um, things, like, on YouTube, like, workouts at home and stuff like that that you can uh, watch, and um, uh, there's these two guys, uh, uh, Buff Bros, or Buff Bros or Buff Dudes or whatever, they have some pretty good, pretty, really good, like, at-home, high-intensity workouts uh, that you, you don't, you don't need any equipment on, um, Athlean X is another one, another couple of channels, yeah, both these channels I watch, and they have some good stuff, uh, so if it's, if it's something that you, you know, you've been meaning to do, you know, there's no better time than now, uh, a lot of us have gotten a lot of, I guess, lackadaisical and lazy with everything that's going on, and sticking in, staying in the house, and, uh, it's just, a, it's, it's, it's a recipe for making yourself, susceptible for for being sick so uh, I'm not saying go out and be around people at the gym or anything but uh, I do think it's important that you get some sort of level of activity and you know you just download DDP DDP yoga or or, uh, or which is intense <laughs> it's not like hell even regular yoga is intense I, I had a friend bring me to uh, a yoga a yoga class a couple of years ago and uh, she made me look like the biggest wimp on the planet uh some of the things that they do is it takes so much more intensity than you can even imagine um and uh i i was so embarrassed i was like i can i can literally bench press 300 pounds but i can't stay in this one pose for more than five seconds kind of a oh man yeah it was it's very humbling uh so i will say that if you even if it's just like yoga um you know, it's something you should, you should definitely try to try to do something. Uh, so I know I have friends that, uh, you know, they, 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 they message me every time uh, from time to time and ask me like, you know, advice and stuff like that. And, uh, I know, so I know a lot of, a lot of you are probably like, I should go out and do something. I should go out and, and try and, um, you know, just, just do it. Right. Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make yourself worse off right so uh it's important it's an important thing that a lot of people tend to time forget there's been large chunks of my life where i've neglected it and and it's not something i was i was too either too lazy too busy didn't want to do it and it shows hell there's videos on game chasers through most of the running where i just look sickly and Oh, you can just tell. You can just tell. Like you look at me, my face is chalky. I'm, I, I look just flubby and and gross. And look, and again, I'm not saying I'm Adonis over here. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm far from it. But uh, like I said, and I guess the whole theme of this video is just be the best that you can be. And I was definitely not being the best me I could be in, in that time frame. But uh, you know, trying to trying to work on that now and, and be better. So anyway, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this video. Uh, inspired you in some way and if not then well, that's okay too you do you right so anyway thank you for watching